nothing fancy. It's just a hotel. Um, it was cheaper than Cascade Locks or Hood River, and it's the same distance as Hood River, so I'm just like, just go to Portland. Um, so that's what I did. Um, yeah, so I just want to recap the Oregon Challenge. So, yeah, I started on Wednesday, the 29th of June, finished the 12th of July, so 14 days, um, which is the challenge to do in 14 days. But I started at like 3.30 and finished at um, right afternoon. I was like right afternoon on the 12th, so I technically had like uh, math, um, 15 MR hours to spare, so that's good, um, or not good, but good, it, it's good, it's good, um, or decent, or whatever, um, but yeah, that's how I was planning on doing it, like, I had to get there before the, like, hours, or whatever, minutes, whatever, I had to get there before 3.30, but yeah, simple, easy, done, um, yeah, and I did take alternates, I will admit that, to avoid some snow, um, but it was relatively the same distance. Also, I took the alternate for um, Tunnel Falls, because like I feel like every PCT hiker takes that one, and like I don't, as of right now, I don't know any that didn't. Like, everybody I know who was, like, camping that day or that I saw in Cascade Box took that alternate. So, it's basically the PCT. I only think the, re the only reason why it's not the official PCT is because the people who run that park or thing, the waterfall or whatever don't want horses on that trail, which makes sense, and the PCT has to be bald, which is kind of stupid, but yeah, um, other than that, the rain did slow me down, um, the rain is annoying, and I guess I'm unprepared for that, or I was not expecting it to rain that much, which, like, I don't know, and, like, I don't know, looking back at it, I, if I were to do this again, I would not do the Oregon Challenge just because of the snow. Um, the snow was exhausting, and I still can't believe I did that, like, even with the, like, amount of snow I had to deal with. It, no, like, I'm up ahead of the pack, and, yeah, so, yeah, and then, now looking forward towards Washington, um, the resupply is a lot less, or it's about the same as Oregon was, which is fine or whatever, but, like, I'm not trying to push 35s and do that, so, like, if I'm going back to a regular through hiking pace of, like, 20, 25 miles a day, um, Resupplying is going to be more difficult because I'm going to have to carry more food between those towns. Because, you know, you do like 30 miles a day. That's like, you can do what that in a, like you can do a 120 mile stretch in four days rather than six, you know? So, it's just something to think about. I mean, the first resupply that I'm doing, I'm playing it on six days, so, yeah, that's that, um, yeah, I really don't have much to say, I'm just making this vlog to make this vlog, and, yeah, um, don't have much to say, so, I'm gonna take another zero tomorrow, give my feet more time to heal, um, I guess I could show you my feet, hang on. This one is the ugly one. I just noticed these creases here. I think that's just because um, I've been laying around all day.
but this is where I got a blister. Um, the skin has reattached here, which is good. But like this, I don't know what's going on here. Um, this rubbed open, uh, it's going away. I don't know what was going on with this tendon, but like, I thought like it could have been infected, but these don't look infected, so. Um, I think this tendon just got worn out. Um, I did lose both of my pinky toenails. So, that's something. Um, other than that, this crease here has gotten a lot deeper. I think in both of them. Yeah, in both of them for sure. Um, both of my feet, like, you can tell there's, like, um, calluses on the, like, toes like that right here this callus is here now and here and there is still a little bit of a friction burn there um but yeah that's all coarse calloused um and then i have a blood blister thingy here um but that should hopefully be fine um i'm not doing anything with that i'm just yeah, I don't know. Um, my feet have bounced back pretty easily. Um, and yeah, I think we're good to get through Washington with my feet. Um, my muscles feel so much better. Like both of my quads were tight. Both of my um, calves were tight. My calf was feeling like super tight, like it cramped up when I got up to get my pizza. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, other than that, I'm feeling pretty loose now. I'm gonna give it another day just to recover because your body, like, I'm not sure where I heard this, but I heard somewhere like your body needs 48 hours to like, for your muscles to fully like recover and like, you know. Like, that's what they need, you know? Um, so, that's what I'm giving them. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, I'm taking a zero tomorrow, and then Washington the next day. So, that's when I'll be continuing north. Peace.